screams have ended and I can think again. I must attend to my lords. I'd forgotten where I left off. <laughs> I should have locked out in a better spot. We go, Gerda. You return. My brother and sister monarchs await word of your success. We knew you could defeat the Bloodthorn cultists. And now, the time has come. Please remain and bear witness. I'll try. Without your aid, we'd be slaves, forced by the Bloodthorns to smite our own descendants. Even kings may bend a knee to those they honor. Release us to our final rest. Have we your leave to depart? Farewell, mortal. Your actions this day shall prove a decisive blow to the Bloodthorn cult. Nice. And their evil master. Ooh, new bow. All right, all right, all right. There's a way shrine over here. Probably should get that. What's over here? Is this this? Haven't I been here before? This looks very, very, very familiar.
dead. Do you do dead? Disappearing on me, I see. My horses are beauties. Look how they... Five minutes. Your timing is impeccable. I'd hoped to find you here, Adept. Blast has finished translating the tome. Once you're ready, join us at the Mage's Guild. Speak to Blast when you arrive. Blast will be expecting you at the Wayrest Guild Hall. I'll see you there, Adept.
She did most of the hard work. I'll leave the explanation to her. Just know that Sheagorath is nowhere near as clever as he thinks. She was able to unravel his nonsense and determine where you need to go. Huh. He's very competitive with him. Hello, how are you? Are you having a good day, I hope? Greetings. It may not be Friday, but it's close enough. <laughs> Welcome to the Bank of Daggerfall. It is. I enjoy it. Um, I took a little hiatus for a bit um, from because the launch was so terrible, but since then they've made a lot of changes, and I really enjoy the game. Everyone who plays it enjoys it. I know there's a lot of hate for this game. Like, it's fun for a lot of people to hate on it, but it's fun. It was. Um, when I first started, I uh, started on Old Marie Dominion, and I liked it, but when I came back, I wanted to try something different, so I did Dagger Falls, and I really enjoy it. They really need an auction house, though. <laughs> Badly. I, I'm i not liking the uh, just having to buy from guilds. I mean, I guess it brings people together or whatever, but I definitely miss just having it an auction house. Eventually, yeah, you, you can travel to like Old Mary Dominion and where the Ebonheart Pact is, like Skyrim and stuff. That's where like all the veteran ranks are. Like when you're leveling veteran, you go into the other territories. But it's not completely open. Um, well, I mean, I guess you could. You would die, but it's, it's fairly open, I think. I really like that you can level up your horse. Like you can give it apples or uh, hang on, let me see. I have little time for talk. I'll show you. Thank you. I like her too. I'm a big Bosmer fan. I know they're cannibals and stuff, but I like them. And I love the history 
that is in this game. Like, you learn all about the different factions and races. That's really interesting. Yeah, you can make it faster. You can, uh, let me show you. Where's the... If you want a horse, then we have something to talk. Okay, you can give it apples to increase its speed. You can give it uh, wheat. It will increase stamina, allowing it to take more hits before becoming dismounted. Or oats, which uh, for each level you gain, you gain one uh, bag slot. And when you get up to like level 10, I think, your horse actually has bags on it. So it really changes how your horse looks, which is really interesting. Yeah, wood elves are cannibals. <laughs> they uh, they only eat enemies that they slaughter. Like in battle, they feast on their they feast on their bones, pretty much. If you want a horse, then we have something to talk. For King Casimir, for Daggerfall. But they only eat meat. They're uh, really all about the trees. Like they don't harm trees, and when they build their houses, they don't use trees from their special forest yeah <laughs> I'm not for sure what the horse looks like whenever you uh, get it really fast that's why I'm working on my Hello. horse right now I'm gonna make my horse fast I haven't decided what I'm gonna name him or her yet though <laughs> they grind like their Dr. bones. Diana, no, they <laughs> they, they pick your bones clean when they eat you. You learn more about Bosmers um, when you play Old Mary Dominion, but you pretty much you don't learn as much playing the other factions. So if you want to learn about Bosmers, I would suggest playing Old Mary Dominion. I haven't seen the Thirteenth Warrior. gonna make my armor better because I was not having a very good time. Yep, you can use bones as toothpicks. <laughs> I don't like the Bosmer shoes, so I'm going to use a uh, high elf shoes, I think. And to be able to craft like armor that's in other peop other uh, races style, you basically have to find books by rummaging through uh, people's bookshelves and desks and nightstands.
I'll have to check that movie out. I need more leather, jeez. That should get me by though, I think. Oh. I have an Xbox. I'm not playing this on Xbox, but I don't and I don't think I will play it on Anything Xbox. I definitely like prefer it on the computer. Anything. Don't believe me? Anything can be made better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they have it. They're going to have it for the console and PS4 and Xbox for uh, this December. I definitely prefer playing it on the computer, though. Bosmer clothes are always very revealing. <laughs> I don't think the um, the Xbox and PS4 are going to be on different servers. So like the PlayStation or the consoles will have their own servers and then the PC will have their own servers. Well, that, that's the case with most MMOs, or games really, with females. They don't give you much protection. It's like basically your boobs and your butt are covered, but like all your vital organs, yeah, you're screwed if you uh, get sliced and diced.
Yeah, it won't be merged. That would be crazy. And it would be kind of a disadvantage to people on the console. Because you'd have all these people that are already veteran ranks, so it'll give everyone an even playing field. Welcome to the Bank of Daggerfall. I agree, always dumb. <laughs> Definitely wish they had more inventory space, but now my inventory is full. Half, more than half my armor is updated, so I think I'm good to go for a little bit. spots when you first start out and then when you get your horse you get 10 extra spots and then you can buy extra slots so the more slots you buy the more expensive it gets of course so I have 70 right now which it fills up fast because you can do all of the uh, professions so it fills up rather quickly They gotta show, show them titties in the game because <laughs> most men play and most men want to see the 8-bit boobies. I gotta collect crocodile teeth. Oh, I know. I'm a hoarder. That's why I wish they'll add player housing, because you get trophies and stuff, and I can't just throw those away. I want, like, a nice pretty house I can store them in. At least you get more than just one crocodile tooth per crocodile, because you'd think one crocodile would sufficiently fill your needs of crocodile teeth. Mm-hmm. 
Huh? What do you want with this old hunt master? Are you now? You're the first one today who still has all his arms and legs. Ah, these are pretty. Pretty disgusting. <laughs> Here, take your gold. Well, gaw. A lot of these quests bring up the feels, man. Like, a lot of them are really freaking sad. Mm hmm. I have it on uh, medium okay. graphics. I mean, it looks okay. fine. I'm not really one of those people who are like, I need excellent graphics or I can't play I don't know a lot of people these days are like these graphics suck because they're not Skyrim or whatever but as long as the gameplay is there I can deal with graphics and these graphics aren't bad by any means it has like a nice look to it I think I don't worry about the future it'll be here soon enough Wounds inflicted by Angoth's minions fester rapidly. They're difficult to heal. This is interesting. We suspected the Red Rooks of Kalim I cannot wait to get my graphics card updated. I need to do that in my power supply, and I'll be happy. We can use this to our advantage, and I can also make good use of these healing recipes. That's ridiculous. It's kids man they didn't start off with the atari or the nintendo we didn't give a crap about what the game looked like as long as it was fun these kids are spoiled my short and my blade is long so watch it hey alex I'm surprised you're not taking a nap. Don't chase trouble, or it will chase you. All right, no problem. The more the merrier, until it gets to a point where it's too big. <laughs> mm. We're getting some good people in there. I think we're gonna do good with the rebuild this time. It's not gonna be such an overload of people. Descendant? You're not even a member of my family. You're placing the sacred candles instead <laughs> of my worthless. <laughs> well, we were up to what? No 400 people, all. Alex? And the drama got crazy. And then whenever I quit playing, a lot of people quit playing. And then now that we're back trying to rebuild it. No, that's not always the case, gentlemen. Bigger does not always mean better, especially if you don't know how to use it. You should fear the return to Hara. Just remember that. What did great grandfather tell you? Am I back in good graces? I renounced the cult and promised to honor my ancestors. Or start a new life somewhere else. 
No more cults for me. Not even benign ones. Oh, you're not one of those people, are you? Bling, everything on the internet is true? Because it's not. Oh, jeez. Sorry to tell you, but unicorns aren't real. Unless you're talking about rhinos. Say, I believe Santa was real once upon a time. It's, this is like a night area, but yeah, it's nighttime. It changes from day to night. It's not on a, it's not on like on a real life schedule, but it has its own schedule, which I like. Earn that money, boy. Well, I think there is a really dark and foggy forest. Uh, I can't think of the name of it right now. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's not open right now. It's all closed off. It's like swampy.
I don't. I have... You can uh, switch between two weapons. I just have my bow. Some people go dagger daggers with this class. I, I like the bow, so that's what I use. I probably eventually will go dagger dagger or something. Hey, you leave her alone. She was falling down a cliff. I was trying to ease my way down. And I did pretty darn good. That was a very high cliff. And I didn't die. You made it. No zombie bites or anything. I found an inscription in the crypt. It described the relic in remarkable detail. Apparently, the talisman can draw energy from the land itself. Ancient magic saturates this site. It's the perfect place to perform the ritual of recharging. Yeah, you're able to switch you fairly quickly. Simple? Are you ready? Here goes nothing. It's done, but something's not right. I have a 360. I've I tinkered around with the idea right. of getting an Xbox One, but Don't for right now, I'm just happy with my 360 and my PC. And all the other oh. numerous consoles I have. <laughs> The ritual worked, but something, well, something awful looked at me while I was channeling energy into the relic. I think there's something trapped inside the talisman. Whatever's inside the relic, it's certainly not friendly. We can try to dispel it using the weird revelation stone in the circle just up the beach. Just getting down here tired me out more than it should have. I know you can handle whatever's inside the talisman. I'm pretty sure it's just a bankin or a lesser scamp. I spy with my little boss my eye chest. Yeah. Like in game from like the three from the Xbox to here, I'm not for sure if people on different servers can be slash friends. Since they're going to be on different I servers. See you, little mortal. I've guarded this talisman for untold centuries, and you hope to pay. It starts much. shaking. That's how you know when to let go. I will personally. And you can't just let go. Like you have to click really ball. fast. So like. So yeah, you once it starts shaking, you have to let go and then click again to kind of hold it into place. Julianos, 
I was wrong about how powerful the thing in the talisman was. My apologies. Oh, don't be sorry. What I was saying was I'm not for sure if people on the PC can add people from the Xbox as friends through the game. But if you have Steam or something, we can be friends on there. But I'm not quite for sure how it's going to work cross-factioning with the PC and the um, consoles. Keep your nose clean and you'll have no trouble with me. This is it. All our work has led to this. We're ready to confront Angoth and destroy him. Thanks to you, he won't be able to hide from us now. I told Sir Lanus what happened out there. You should introduce yourself when you get a chance. Fate has been unkind. Over here, we have much to discuss. We'll beat this Angoth. We'll beat this. We'll beat this Angoth, claim glory for the king, and return home victorious. Oh. Yeah, I'll add it to my uh, tag list. What my Xbox name is. The great King Casimir sent us to stop Angoth. With the combined. Well said. But we can't just rush after the villain. First off, Angoth's toxic mist protects the approach to Kath Badro. It rises from his vines and sickens anyone who breathes it in. The wizard Benelay believes you might be immune to its effects. We have to chance it. We don't have any other options. A squad of dragons succumbed to the mist before they could retreat. And that idiot Darian led a few Camlorn soldiers on an ill-conceived rescue mission. How old are you, by the way, well. Lumacy? If you don't mind me asking, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, I was just curious. The soldiers still live. That mist is deadly. And that fool from Camlorn, what's he thinking? He charged right into the mist after them. They couldn't have gotten too far. I know, he's great. phasing right through that Poison beam. <laughs> Hopefully, they stay together. Once you get them out of there, we can plan our attack against Angoth. With the city liberated from Falchu, some of the Camlorn guard came up this way looking for a fight. A noble named Darian was acting as their leader. He seemed very angry with Angoth. Something about werewolves. RK, blind me if I know. When the king mentioned your name, the dog perked up and stuck with us all the way from Daggerfall. Looks like he's happy to see you. Please, the people of Crosswitch need help. Troubled times in Glenumbra, it seems. All I hear is bad news no matter where I turn. But the worst, as far as I'm concerned, is poor Crosswitch. The damned Red Rooks are what happened. They're trying to turn our town into their base of operations. They took over the mine and threaten or kill anyone who gets in their way. Tamian Selen is organizing a resistance to take back Crosswitch. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure. I had someone who was 10 on here the other day asking me to add him to stuff, and I was like, eh, it might be a little weird. <laughs> it's a doof box. <laughs> just kidding. I don't know what it is either. You're not 10. You're 10 plus 14.
Okay. Hang on one second, my curtain fell, I'll be right back and should only be like a minute. Don't go anywhere. All right, I'm back. The cats were climbing on the curtains and I knocked it down. <laughs> I'm 28, so a good 11 years older than you. How old do I sound? Some people say I sound 24. Okay, well that's a compliment. I'm 28. <laughs> I look and sound a little bit younger than I am, which isn't always a bad thing. I think I finally stopped getting carded anytime I buy adult beverages. Aw, oh, you're still young, Car uh, Carver. <laughs> it's funny how fat you can make your character in this game. <laughs> some people are some roly polies. It's not a bad thing. I'll be happy whenever I'm 40 and look 30. No wrinkles. <laughs>
Did they kill the boss that you need to kill to get this open dungeon or whatever done with? I hope they didn't, because then I have to come back and redo it. Carver's not old. Yeah, I play a little Call of Duty. Not as much as I used to. I bet you they freaking killed the boss that you need to get this complete. If you want a game like that, try Fable 2. If you eat pie a lot, you get fat. Like, if you eat nothing but pie, you get fat. <laughs> but if you eat vegetables, you get skinny. Damn it! I'm gonna have to do this over again. They must have killed the boss while I was getting the Sky Shard. I gotta do this again. Stay focused, Kayla. We need to kill the boss to get this done. Alrighty, I'll add you. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Fable is an amazing game series. I love it. What the? How are you supposed to complete this thing? There's no boss.
There's a boss somewhere in here, and I can't find him. No, you're not expected to have a team unless you do like a dungeon, then you're expected to have a team. This is like an open dungeon where you don't need a team, but you can have a team if you want to, if you want to get it done faster. There's supposed to be a boss in here to show that you've completed, like, it won't sh- Oh, there he is! Now it's completed. Finally! Jeez!
No, that's... It's hard to explain. The, the classes on here are kind of mix and match. You can do what you want. And hang on, as soon as this loading screen gets done, I'll explain a little bit more. Like, my character is called the Nightblade. It's a rogue type class. And you have three different trees that you can mix and match in. You have Assassination, Shadow, and Siphoning. I have a, I have one Assassination skill on my heart, hot bar down here, which now I can morph it into something else. Then you have uh, shadow and then siphoning. Siphoning is what I use the most because it heals you and like takes life from uh, your enemy. And then you have your boat. Then you have your weapon skills that you can put points into. So you, that's why you collect sky shards. You get extra points by collecting three sky shards, and then you get points from leveling up, of course. And then you get points from completing quests, and you can put points into any of these that you use. You got weapon skills that you can put them into, passive skills, armor, passives, world passive, guild passive. So right now you have your fighter skill that you can put skills into and passives. So there's a lot of things to put points into and you're not going to get enough points to use. You put in everything so you have to be kind of selective on what you do. Then you have your racial skills, crafting skills that you can put points into. So it can get kind of hectic, but you become a very unique character. Like you're not going to find a lot of characters that are like you. And you can use any weapon, uh, wear any armor, there's no limitations. Like some other class are like, oh, you can only use a staff or a wand or something. But in this one, you can pick up any weapon, wear any armor you want. What are best fits your needs? You can make a dedicated class. You don't have to, like, you know, you can do whatever you want. You have the freedom to. Yep, a mage can wear plate armor, but I mean, you're going to have consequences for that, but if you mix and match, the best thing is to mix and match, where mostly, like, because of the buffs, your passives that you can put points into, I use medium armor because of the criticals. It's one giant server. There's just three different factions, but even then, everyone's still on the same server. 
And I think you can have up to eight character slots. I could be mistaken, I'm not for sure. Yeah, that's most of MMOs, and there's only four classes, so I, mean, I don't know how many slots you would need. I know you and your 150 characters on that one game, but most games, most MMOs, there's eight, eight or ten slots. But you don't need any more than that, especially with games like this. Especially if they keep adding veteran ranks, like you're constantly leveling up, it seems. No time to get bored. Look who's here. I should have... Miserable. Camlorn wasn't enough for you, eh? You affected. I wish I knew. I didn't think. I just rushed in to help the Dragon Knights. My guards started gasping and falling to the ground, just like the Knights. But not me. These are the only survivors. But I don't think they'll last much longer. Wow. The mist is thicker toward the gate. They won't survive passing through it again. Better grab a couple of extras just in case anyone should. I don't need that many. I need like a mule and then like one main. I mean, I am an altaholic, but I don't need that many tunes. You have to go out and search to get recipes. Like, it would be hard to have a dedicated crafter like that. Yeah. 
They really need to bring your game back, huh? Indeed, I really hope it happens for you too. It seemed like a perfect game for you. I would try it. I'm willing. I try all different kinds of things. I'm always down to give new games a try. These soldiers won't last much longer, and I don't have enough magic to extend my ward to protect them. Darian. Perfect. Thank you. I'll put them on the wounded knights, and Darian can lead them to safety. Do you have any more? I might If I merge them and cast an amplification spell, I can increase the size of my protection ward. If I can get to a central point and hold the spell long enough, our troops will be able to get in. You just need to defend me while I do it. Good. Meet me at the center of the graveyard. When Angoth notices what I'm doing, he's bound to send someone to stop me. If they interrupt me while I'm casting, the spell will fail, and that won't be good. Quickly now, the 
before Angoth knows we're here. Are you ready to begin? Remember that I can't defend myself while I'm performing the ritual. Yeah, you can deconstruct stuff, take things apart and salvage uh, like leather and metal from it. Stay close. You need to keep them off me until I finish. Then you can also take pieces of armor that have like special enchantments on it and research it to learn that enchantment. Stay close. You have to keep them away from me until I complete the ritual. Yeah, that's very true. <gasps> what? I hope I was supposed to do that. Nope, I wasn't supposed to do that. What? You can't really have like a dedicated crafter on here without leveling it up because uh, in order to use higher level crafting materials, you have to put points into it and that requires levels. I don't know <laughs> if it was a glitch. I like fell into nothing, nothingness. Damn it, I wasn't paying attention and that was my fault. No, you cannot level up with crafting. It's not like Guild Wars. Only real way to level up is by doing quests. Not even like killing mobs, really. You just gotta do quests. Yeah, Elder Scrolls Online may not be the best game for you. <laughs> like even World of Warcraft, you have to level to be a crafter, like a dedica dedicated crafter.
Okay, let's try this again. Is your paper safe? That takes care of the mist. But who knows for how long? Let's not waste this opportunity. The time to strike at Angoth has arrived. This next bit is critical. I've seen what you can do, so I know you're up to it. Besides, we'd never have made it this far if not for you. Yeah. You won't be able to just walk into Angoff's parlor and challenge him to a duel. He has minions. His kind always has minions. That's what I like about uh, Star Wars Field Republic. You can have dedicated healers like that. They don't have to be high level. You can just send them mats from different characters. Oh, even better. Take this binding stone. Find a secure location inside the catacombs and use it to call me to you. I'll even bring some of the soldiers with me. Some of the dead were protected by wards designed to prevent desecration. Look for a tomb with these wards and use the stone there. That should be safe enough for my purposes. This game is a lot of fun. I enjoy it a lot. Good. You found the perfect spot for... Wait, where are the others? Yes, Sir Lannis and his knights volunteered to come with me. But I only see Dame Alexine. There must have been too many of us for the Binding Stone. This isn't good. The other knights could have been scattered throughout the crypts. Good. But listen, there's only one way to get out of these crypts. You have to kill Angoth. I don't have any other way to deal with his various protections and defenses now that I'm down here. He dies, or we never leave. Those are our choices. Okay, those are our only choices. Fancy meeting you here. Tavern, I said. Meet me in a tavern. There's no ale down here. Just zombies and tentacles. And where are the serving lunches? You promised me serving lunches. 
Oh well, at least your timing's perfect. Dear Gabrielle's spell seems to have misfired. Luckily, a few of us were able to find each other. I also convinced the Bloodthorn cultist to tell me how to reach Angoff. I can be very persuasive when I put my mind to it. Three locks protect Angoff's inner sanctum. I doubt that even you can get in there by simply knocking. You need three shard keys to open the locks. They're well guarded, so you're gonna have to kill a few things to get them. I wish I could aid you, but I'm needed here. Lannis is good with a sword, but I'm better. I'll protect the survivors. Let Lannis know if you run into anyone else. I don't know exactly, but the Bloodthorn cultist told me about the gun. Wizard Benelay said you'd gotten inside and were hunting Angoff. We wanted to help, but I hope we haven't done more harm than good. We met Wizard Benelay outside. She said you'd use a binding stone to call us. Then suddenly we were down here in the dark and surrounded by a horde of undead. The rest of the contingent must be somewhere nearby. My best guess? Deeper inside the catacombs. If you find any knight, send them this way. I'll hold the passage with this over. Stay back. This area is trapped. Don't get caught like I did. I've been After watching. each trap fires, there's a brief moment when you can disarm it. During this moment, you have to defeat its guardian. It's the so, only... So... I'm... Spirit, his gaze so hard and cold. He won't stop looking at no. me. No, he looks right through me. If they get one hit, they get their own I loot. Like everyone who loots off the body gets separate loot. They're here. That's great news. I'll go find them in a moment. But 
Be careful around this spirit. I think he's cursed me already. My mind is blue and cold. You are the one who wishes to destroy my master. I know what you seek. I would tell you if I could, but instead I must thwart you. The shard key is bound to my spirit, as surely as I am bound to guard it. But I wonder, will you listen to a riddle? A useful riddle? What cannot be said directly may be hinted at. Listen then. Rot and death are Angoth's guise. Living flesh holds his demise. I might cannot say directly, only through riddle. Seek what differs in the next room. Take with the living What flesh. cannot be said directly may be hid. No, yeah, I know. I know what you meant. Yeah, even if you're not teamed with them, if they hit it, they get their own loot. But they can't, like, kill still or steal your loot. There's the one that defeated the corrupted spirit inside of the weird tree.
You'd never creep up on a person. You're likely to get beheaded. You must be with a mad fool who went into the catacombs ahead of us, aren't you? By the way, did the other knights make it? That binding spell seemed to throw me a bit short of the mark. I'll head out as soon as I see a clear path. A word of warning, though. The lurcher in the chamber ahead is extremely tough. I'd keep I'll it do away. that. With luck, we'll re... Yeah.
Hey gods, warrior, how are you today? You come to destroy my master? I know what you seek. I would tell you a simple riddle, yet you already have the answer in your possession. Yes, but take care what you say. The words must be repeated exactly as written. Ah, oh, it's done! Thanks, Stendar. Here, take the shard key. I am free to ascend at last. Destroy Angoth. Avenge me and the others that have fallen victim. We'll do what we can to help. Just stay away from his vines. Okay, let's see if I can kill him. So you are the vain fool who seeks to plague Lenumbra from my grass. After I kill you, I shall raise you up and make you my slave. You and your friends will all die. destroys you. I only had 10 gold. <laughs> Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Hello, how are you, Mozart? Fun isn't the right word, but you were The others have all collapsed in their tents. They're exhausted, but I wanted to welcome you back. And Sir Lannis wants to talk to you. He's telling the Lion Guard commander what happened. Who knows? Maybe he wants to give you a medal or something. Well, go on. We'll be fine. I promise. Better get a medal after all that work I just did. I don't really use potions. I probably should. The king will be grateful for what we've done here. Some of the I'm Angos wonderful. Are running loose, but it's nothing we can't handle. Maybe things will finally return to normal. Without Angos magic, hopefully the vines will wither and die. If not, I'm sure the mages guild can conjure up a spell to clear them away. I'm not too concerned about them. Yes, but I can't put my finger on it. 
We've heard rumblings that things up north aren't looking any better. Not necessarily vines and such, but there are whispers of other things out there that we need to be concerned about. I hear there's trouble in Coglin Village. Something bad is happening up there. But don't worry about that right now. We just saved the people of Glenumbra. We should be celebrating. Now, where did I put it? The king set aside this armor for the champion who defeated Angoth. It was a treasure of Daggerfall, and now it belongs to you. It's your reward for all you've done for this land and its people. May luck follow you wherever you go. Sir! Sir! I... They took him, sir. 